Hello everyone, and thank you for attending Monkey University. This class is Monkey Jam 101. This is an introductory course that demonstrates how to create stop motion videos using the free program Monkey Jam on a Windows OS computer. First, open Monkey Jam. For this course, we are using a QuickCam Pro 9000 webcam. Under Settings, select Preferences. Under the General tab, make sure your frame per second is set to your desired frame rate. We recommend using 15 frames per second. This is also where you set the default storage folder for Monkey Jam. We set ours to a folder called MJ Save on the desktop. It is easy to get to. Under the Capture tab, make sure all settings are set like we have here on this screen. Now in the Edit drop-down menu, Add Layer. Control plus L will also do the same thing. Name your layer. This is the file name that Monkey Jam will give to the files it puts in your default storage folder. Select the Video Capture button. This will open your QuickCam Pro 9000 software if this is the camera you are using. Other cameras might use other software. Make sure mode is set to stop motion. You can select a different camera under the camera drop-down. You can change the size of the pictures under the size drop-down. We typically use 1280 by 1024 or 1600 by 1200 for the movies we produce in HD and 640 by 480 for standard def. For this tutorial, we will use 352 by 288. Under video settings, you can adjust brightness, contrast, gamma, hue, white balance, and backlight. Because we are using the QuickCam Pro 9000 software, we will not use these adjustments. They are very valuable when using different cameras. Select the settings menu on the QuickCam software. Turn off the autofocus and auto white balance. Also turn off the auto exposure under the right light settings menu. Make sure zoom is all the way out. It's best to move the camera to zoom if possible rather than using the electronic controls. Next, focus the camera with the slider bar. It is best not to adjust the brightness and contrast sliders. You can make better adjustments elsewhere. Color intensity can be adjusted slightly to add more color to the picture or make it black and white. The white balance slider can be adjusted if your white balance needs a little adjustment. We generally set our exposure slider to the next to highest setting and then adjust the gain to get the desired video level. You might consider using this button to help reduce flicker if your stop motion has flicker. Because the QuickCam Pro 9000 has very good manual control, we have found that flicker is not an issue. It's now time to start animating. Take a picture by hitting the capture button or pressing return. Move the object and repeat. Make sure you don't take a picture of your hand, bump the camera, or touch anything that you don't want to move. Unfortunately, Monkey Jam doesn't have onion skinning, so make sure you remember where each object was before moving it. You don't have a reference from onion skinning to rely on.
when you have finished animating your scene, preview it from the main Monkey Jam screen by pressing the preview button. Press the play button after the Monkey Jam preview renders the scene. If the preview looks good, then export to AVI under the file drop-down menu. Change the save in folder to the desktop, otherwise your file will be saved in your default storage folder. You will also need to name the file. Keep the movie size to image size. Check out your finished stop motion scene. We generally don't bother to save the monkey jam file since every picture is saved as a file in the default storage folder. These files can easily be imported into monkey jam. You might want to create a Monkey Jam save file if you are doing special effects or a complicated stop motion. To reload previously shot sequences or sequences shot on a still camera, simply drag your pictures from your default storage folder to the Monkey Jam timeline. Thanks everyone and good luck. Bye for now.